Hey, it's Monday morning and you are watching the Weather Network. Rachel Schutz and Kelly Sonnenberg here with you. Before we dive into this gorgeous forecast across the country, let's check out what's trending today. but all the way over towards Quebec, Atlantic Canada. Beautiful blue skies. And Rachel, take a look at temperatures already this morning. Uh, we've got anywhere in the low single digits to possibly climbing into 20 degrees by the afternoon. It is just incredible. And you know, Kelly, this reminds me to tell everybody that sunscreen yes. needs to be back in your routine. The UV index, for example, is rated at seven in Windsor and Toronto today, six in Halifax and Fredericton. So think about protecting yourself. Dry air today, gorgeous, gorgeous wow. conditions. Beautiful all the way from southwestern Ontario through Quebec into the Maritimes. Take a look at Halifax, 14 degrees, even St. John's at seven degrees. That's pretty seasonal for this time of year. So our question of the day on Twitter, does the weather impact your mood? I'm going with A. Rachel? <laughs> okay, Kelly, let me tell you a story from over the weekend. I am going for sure with A here a lot. Went for my run yesterday morning. It was so beautiful. Signed up for a full marathon. So does the weather impact my mood? Yes, I think it does a little too much. That's a definite <laughs> yes. Now, with early spring weather, there is the threat for flooding. Here's Shannon Bradburn. Well, good news to kickstart the work week. Roads and highways look to be clear and bare. High pressure really is our main story, which is a big story across eastern Canada. The only area we have a little bit of moisture will be far northern Manitoba, northwestern Ontario, a few isolated showers. Now, we will see some rain return by the middle of the week. Late Tuesday and into Wednesday, we'll start to see some showers build in across southern Ontario. That'll shift further east into, into southern Quebec and into eventually the Maritimes. Generally, we're going to be looking at about 10 to 20 millimeters. Good morning. We've got another beautiful day, really, right across Canada. I know you love the weekend, and Kelly and I have got more details on your forecast just after we check out what's trending today. People were out yesterday, too, for Earth Day, cleaning up your neighborhood, cleaning up Trinity Beltwood's Park. That was a huge event, Nathan Phillips Square. Gorgeous conditions. And then look at this. This is also something to celebrate. Yeah, this morning, you know what? We're already starting to see temperatures well above that freezing mark in southern Ontario. As we take a look at our atmospheric moisture, lots of dry air. That's really our big story across pretty much the entire country. Shannon and I were taking a look at forecast conditions for a lot of the major cities. You can't find any rain on the forecast today. I know. The icons across Canada really look brilliant. And this afternoon, we're actually talking warm. This would be a good day in June for Windsor. Never mind April. 20 yeah. Yeah. degrees but we have been talking about the need for sunscreen and making sure you get out yes. get a new bottle this is the time of year you need it absolutely now we wanted to ask you this question how does the weather affect your mood kelly for me i was out yesterday i was running i was loving it what do you think about it i'm for sure a lot with the sunshine coming out and the mild temperatures, I'm in a happy mood. But unfortunately, spring weather also means flooding. Let's send things over to Shannon Bradbury. Details in BC. It's Monday and we don't have a whole lot of active weather to talk about across Eastern Canada, really across the country. For the start of the work, we've, we've got high pressure in place, a lot of dry air across the Great Lakes, which means abundant sunshine for Ontario, Quebec, even into the Maritimes as well, and temperatures that are going to be above seasonal. Now, conditions will get a little bit more unsettled for the middle of the week. Some moisture from the U.S. will start to ride a little bit further north. We'll see a cold front move in as well. This will be bringing us in some showers, widespread 10 to 20 millimeters. Well, dry air and sunshine is our main story as we start off the work week across the Great Lakes into Quebec and even the Maritimes. Really no moisture to be found. Also, temperatures that are going to be above seasonal for a couple of days. Take a look at the beautiful sunshine we've got in store for this afternoon. We will see the return of some rainfall across southern and central Ontario for the middle of the week. Widespread, we're going to be looking at generally about 10 to 20 millimeters of rain with this incoming system.